I guess I'm, I'm as ready as I'm. Oh, <laughs> hey, floss <Okay>. tube. <laughs> Hello again. Okay, today is, I don't know, Friday, the 27th. Say hi. Hi. And, yeah. <laughs> we have visitors today. This, um, this is son number three. He is two years old, and his name is Lachlan. And okay, you can go play. He doesn't want to stay here now. Don't no, touch, though. Don't touch that. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, yeah, this might not go well. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. He's standing there with his hands on his hips. Yeah, I wish you could see that because it is. No, oh, oh, don't, touch. don't touch. Don't touch. This could be scary. He's supposed to be taking a nap. Okay, come here. Come here with mommy. Right here. Hold the bee. No, no, he's not going to. Okay, hold the bee. Okay. <laughs> so. Shh, don't touch. Where, where are we going? I guess I'll this? share about mine, right? So then I can... Well, first we should say... Oh, yeah, yeah this is... I'm Joan. And I'm Kelsey. <clears throat> and thanks for stopping by again today. And Lachlan. And, he's, and Lachlan. He's, he should be taking a nap. That's what he should be He doing. really should be. Okay. So Kelsey is here today. Uh, and I didn't get a floss tube done last week. And so I'm going to try to get one done today. So as a, as a special treat, I'm here to make up for that... Lost a episode last week that she didn't happen to make. I was out. I guess I went out of town last week. Yeah, you were a little busy. I, she was indisposed. I was. It was a last minute surprise. We're going a out of town. Bee? That's right. Yep. A B. Yes. Bee. So the last when I talked, bee, I, bee. I think on my last um, floss tube, I was talking about fair stuff, and I had no idea where this came from. Kelsey's so my she can tell you all about her bee. My beautiful bee mandala. It is from Awesome Pattern Studio on Etsy. And I, you already told them I won fourth place, right? Yes. Which did not come with a monetary prize. <laughs> the ribbon is enough for me, okay? But yes, go on Etsy and just type in Awesome Pattern Studio. She has a bunch of patterns like this design type, like the mandala type, different animals and stuff, and this one was just so cute. I snow dyed the fabric myself. I love it. I finished it myself, thanks to my mom who taught me how to finish. Mm. Thanks, mom. Yeah, sure, anytime. So, until next time, floss tube, I will be exiting and making sure my son is not burning the house down. I think he's probably getting into treats. Treats, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Okay. Yep, the jar is opening. <laughs> it's opening. Take it away, Mom. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, I... Like I said, I was out of town last week. And, and I hurt my back last week. And I've just kind of been behind the eight ball. So, I'm going to try to get through this today. So I will talk a little bit. I pulled a couple more things off the back wall because I'm trying to get things packed because Kelsey and Duncan, I think, have sold their house. And so we're going to get it out of here. So I'll go through some of the stuff um, that I pulled off the wall. And, of course, as usual, I am not going to know. Some of these I don't have a clue I I want to say this is a hobnob thing. I don't know. It was kind of like a sort of a little kit thing. But it's just, it's got a cute little clay piece. And and then the threads, whoops, doesn't want to focus. The threads there, it's kind of cute how they're on there. Anyway, that was hanging up on my... On my back wall, this one, I believe, is a heart and hand. Uh, let me get this. Yes, it is correct. I really loved stitching this piece. I did it in 2005. I just like the small bands and the specialty stitches. I don't know why. It's just a small little thing, but it's kind of one of my faves. So there's, there's that little... Little deal. You know, my little, 
My little bumpies on the back are all disintegrating. I wonder what that's all about. Not all of them. Okay. This one too, again, I don't remember the name of the pattern. I just liked the saying. Um, because I really do, I don't know, I like starting projects. I like finishing them too, but I do like starting them. So those are a couple of my vintage, I kind of have a, okay, so I have been looking for a Blackbird design piece that I stitched. It was a kit from it was a club piece. It's in a it's in a book now. It's a Fourth of July piece. But I had been looking for it, and since you know we are kind of moving stuff out, and I knew I'd put it away, and I thought it was in a plastic box underneath our bed, and I cleaned all that out, and I couldn't find it, and I couldn't find it, and I couldn't find it. And I was starting to get a little upset because I couldn't find this piece. So lo and behold, we moved a bed out of our house, out of the spare bedroom. And, oh, there was a plastic container there. And I just happened to look in there thinking, well, what is in here? I knew I'd put some things underneath that bed, but I thought they were more quilt related. Well, lo and behold, I found the piece. So I'll show you that piece. I'm going to show you some. I found some other. There was a lot of other treasures in there. So this um, is a, I don't know how you say it, Heinzit? Hindsight piece. You know, you get the pattern and then it has the charms. And um, you stitch them up. And So I have this one that says stitch. And I have to polish these charms. They are looking a little rough. And then the other one I did is this one that says friend. Okay, friends, sorry. And I did these, when did I do these? Oh, 2002, 2001, 2002. So I guess they're kind of vintage. So then I also had, you know, I have so much stitching and I had a lot of it put away because I kind of ran out of wall space maybe I don't know um, but here are a few this one I did just fairly 2015 um, and of course I framed it myself with, I'm sure this was a frame I found somewhere because that's what I like to do. So I've this one, and I think this is a good housewife. I, I'm not sure. Kathy Barrick. So that I have this piece. And again, I'm not quite sure. You can just leave me comments if you know who, what these are. So I have this one. This one I know is a hillside sampling piece. This one has been around for a little bit. I kind of can't see what I'm doing here. There. So there's that piece. Um, this one went to the fair back in 2015. I got a third place. Um, this is a cute sampler. I'm not even going to say who I think it is because I don't want to be wrong. I know it's an Adam and Eve type sampler. And this one I did all in silks. This one, I believe I, this is a nice frame. I'm pretty sure I ordered this frame. I framed it myself, but I'm pretty sure that that frame, it's really got a nice, I really kind of like that frame. 
so um, because of sampler September here you go got one done got a couple samplers sitting here this one too is um it was a club piece that and I'm sure that the frame came from a, um, a thrift store but I know this was a kit piece from I think Country Sampler way back in the day I don't even know, oh 2014 this one, was, well yeah the um, I stitched this in 2014 so this is just a really um, simple little sampler I don't know, it's pretty cute so this is out of that box that I found underneath the bed all these treasures were in there and then here's another piece that I had in the fair my brother's keeper I think this is a Plum Street. Does it say? No, but I'm pretty. Um, but this one won a first place in 2015 at the Minnesota State Fair. Um, this one was a. F I'm. I just. I got this. Um, my friend Jackie bought the. Bought me the pattern. For my, I'm trying to get this close enough so you can see it because I can't see what I'm doing, of course, from back in this back here. But this was really, this was kind of a fun piece. Pretty sure I stitched this on 40 count. And pretty sure that this was a frame that I ordered from Joann's so there's that and then the piece that I'd been looking for this was um, a fair piece too in 2014 so this is Salute to Abigail by Blackbird Designs um, I did order this frame I believe it was from Joann's, Joann's or Michael's, but it's kind of, um, it's not like wood, it's kind of like a faux leather type thing, it's kind of really cool, but yeah, I was, I was a little upset that I could not find this little beauty because this one is done in silks and I really liked it and like I said I thought I even asked my kids I thought oh did I give it to you guys so anyway and this I think this chart is still available it's um a fourth of July one now I can't even think of it but it is blackbird designs I do know that so that's um some of my vintage some of my lost and founds, which I'm very happy about. So I'm gonna pack away some, some more, some more stuff. So what have I been up to? Well, I've been up to working up at the house because we're trying to get finishing done. We're putting flooring in and fun stuff like that. But we did take a little break and we went up to the North Shore last weekend although it was a little rough for me because I injured my back lifting flooring boxes I think but anyway I did I don't think I hardly I don't think I stitched it all while I was gone up north and that's what I really like to do but it just wasn't in the cards for because I just wasn't feeling well but anyway I did start this probably about a week ago, maybe less than a week ago. This is Shakespeare's Peddler's Scissors and Sp Antique Scissors and Spools, I believe this is what it's called. I stitched it on a piece of 36 that was in my stash, and then I used Belsoi, I believe, um, tortoise something. It's a green. 
a green kind of color. So I did get that finished. I didn't get it FFO'd. I was going to try to do that, but again, not really moving on that. So then I talked about and they send. I started this back in 2013 and I didn't get very far on it. And a friend of mine also started it back then. And darn her, she pulled hers out. She was a little farther along than I was. She was almost halfway through. And she just finished hers. I'm a little jealous. Because she is done. So here I am. Here's, here's what I've gotten done. I'm... I'm way behind the eight ball. But I suppose this is about a quarter of it. I don't know. I start at the bottom, so I'm about up to here. As far as just the stitching, there's the grass that's got to be put in there. I don't know. I won't get it done this year, but I'd really like to get it done. It's kind of on my bucket list. So I'm going to try to work on it. <sighs> At least try to touch it once a week. We'll see how that goes. I know some of you who know me know how that goes with me. Lots of big projects. Um, as far as, oh, I was going to talk a little bit more about um, this kind of ties in with, I guess, my vintage stuff. I do have a whole box yet of stuff. I'm not going to, I was going to talk about it today, but since I found my box of treasures, I don't think I'll talk about my other things I had. I had all, you know, well, everybody knows that I'm kind of scissor crazy. So here's a, another um, stash. I think these are all just pre-max. And some of them, I started, you know, to, hey, let's have, whoops, sorry. Let's have fobs for all these. Well, I only have a fob for a few of these. Here's another. Here's the scissors. Here's the fob. 2009, I stitched that fob. I dropped one on the floor here. So probably back in 2009 or even a little further out I was going to try to use this little cutie and then this is a shepherd's bush fob that I did and this fob here I think was yep from a retreat um I'm not sure, 2009, oh, it must have been a sunflower retreat, that's what it was, and then somebody stitched these, so the init our initials were on them, and then I had this little scissors, so I have, you know, all of these little guys in, and Here's a few. Here's all of my... We went on a real tangent once and um, um, we ordered... There was like eight of us. We had this scissor pack and must have ordered like seven or eight scissors at one time. A lot of them were these Premax ones. So then the other thing, and I know people have... Are the flower, flower th frogs... And I do have a ton of these, so I'd get find these, and then I'd try to find something that um, it would fit in. And this one really does fit in there quite well. And so then my scissors go in there quite well. So then you got, you know, your little scissor flower frog. And I do have, that's what I was going to um, elaborate on today was I cleaned out, I have a, uh, so there's my little, I have a cabinet 
that I keep things in and I had a lot of my scissors um, displayed in there. So now I'm trying to think when I get to my new house how I'm going to do that, but we'll see. So there's that little tidbit. Um, I did. I haven't gotten much stash lately that I... I know I've ordered a couple of... Oh, I did get... Well... Okay, so I ordered this. This is really hard to see, but uh, Saltbox Stitcher did this one. It was hanging, it used to be hanging behind her, and it was done in red. You know, it's really hard to see this, but their um, words of praise, it's called uh, Words of Praise, the Guidance Sampler. And I got this from that Emily's um, E. E M L I Emily's um, online. So I ordered this one because I'd seen Salt Buck Stitchers. And then Faye, Carolina Stitcher, had stitched this one, this threads, threads of gold, Sarah Monday sampler. And I, I I don't know, I've probably seen this sampler before, but when you've seen it done up, it just, I don't know, when it's done up, it just, it does it justice when you see it. These pictures just don't. So since it was sampler September or September sampler, or sampler September, I guess, um, I thought, well, I'm going to buy that so that when I land in my new house, I will be sitting on my hiney um, doing some stitching. I have lots of stitching to catch up on. So I'm kind of excited about that. Then the last, one of the last things before I'm going to show you what I'm, I'm trying to get uploaded or posted on my Etsy for bags this week. Um, I am participating in the harvest delivery. Plum Street. This is hashtag PS Harvest Delivery Sale. Oops, my phone is ringing. So unless Kelsey gets it, it's going to ring until it doesn't. So I got this pattern. I um, ordered the threads from um, Victorian model threads. Let me just trying to get them all together here and upright. And so um, Nancy Turner has all the th she dyed threads for it for the. Oh, I dropped one. Sorry. So here's all the threads. I picked out a piece of fabric from my stash. So I'm hoping that that's all going to work out. I think it should. And then I created um, a project bag for the sale. I showed this, a, I've showed this a couple times. So this is Charles Wasaki. I thought that this themed really well with you know, the horse, and and then uh, when I'm done with this one, I thought that this little pattern, this prairie schooler harvest time, because I really would like to do this top sampler picture, or I don't know if you'd call it a sampler, but I'd really like to stitch that, so I thought, well, this would be a good project bag for that. So I will be starting this. It, the sale starts on the 30th of this month. Um, I wish I wouldn't say um. The hashtag I told you was PS Harvest Delivery Sale. Melissa Neely is 
put it is she's kind of hosting it. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot her floss tube name. Neely's Needle Nest. I'll put it down below in the comment or in the description. So I think that's uh, about all for now. I do have another box that I think next week that I'll try to, I'll talk about the rest of my scissors and some more of my treasures. And I think that's it for the stitching part of this. So you can follow me on Instagram at Made by Mama Joan, Facebook made by Mama Joan. Um, my Etsy shop is made by Mama Joan on Etsy. And then I have a blog that's Stitching Squad. It hasn't been updated. I always say that. but So I think that's it for the stitching part. I'm going to talk a little bit about what bags I have um, that I'm going to list this week today after I get this done and start uploading this. So the first, so if you're going to cut out, have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Um, thanks for stopping and listening. And I will see you next time. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my shop updates. First set of um, project bags are these fallish looking ones. These are called um, Autumn Song. They have you know cute little saying on the inside. So I have that in the large bag. The standard bag. And then I've kind of I'm kind of shaking it up a little bit. I started making a few more of these medium sized vertical down array bags. Vertical. Um, I, they're just the right size for these, you know, half patterns. And I just thought I would do a few, start making a few of these. I don't know. If you have an opinion, if you would rather see just the accessory size, or maybe I'm going to start. Um, doing more where I just put the fabric out and then you can choose the sizes you want. I, I've got that on a few of my design, fabric designs. So I might do that, but I just thought for a change of pace, I started making a few of these. I really like them because they're just kind of a cute little size. And then my next one is going to be a bee. So if you can see this, is honeycomb on the inside here, trying to not get any glare. And then here's the back. Now this one, I just really, really like the fabric. And because I'm doing, you know, collecting bee stuff, gotta have bee bags. So I bought this fabric and enough to make some extra bags. So this one is going to go up and, and this too again is going to come in the large size, the standard size, and I made some of these medium size bags. So I hope that you take a look at them. Stop by and see if there's anything else. I do do custom orders, so if you want to send me fabric, just ship me a combo and, and we can talk about that. And I think that's about it for now. I'm going to close it up for today. Sorry about the phone ringing. Kelsey must have been outside, so she didn't get my... She didn't get, she didn't get it turned off, but oh well. Real life happens! All right, have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Thanks for stopping in. See you next week, hopefully. Bye.